Hi everyone, I'm Li Jiechen. This is a joint work with Anupan Gupta from CMU and Jian Li from Tsinghua, who is my advisor. Let us begin with an interesting example. We all know minimum spending tree is a very easy problem, but it's easy as long as we know the exact weight. What if we don't have the complete information? For example, say, now that each age E has an associated distribution GE with mean E, with mean G, mu E, and uh, we want a spending tree with the minimum utilities. Each time we can choose an age and take a sample from it. The goal is to succeed with the probability one minus, one minus delta and minimize the samples we need. Well, this is a special case of the general formulation combinatorial multi-armed bandit. It's in, in, in introduced by Chen, Wang, and Yuan in, back in 2013. There are unstochastic arms, and each one with an unknown distribution. In this case, it's just, just an H. And that's a family S of subsets. In the last example, it's just the, the family of all the spanning trees. And we want a subset which, with the, which maximizes the sum of utilities. Well, there may be a very, very general framework, but the problem is also it's too general. It's very difficult to obtain tight lower bounds and upper bounds for that problem. So we consider natural constraints. There are three good points for that. The first one is that it's general enough to, co to cover many interesting applications. The second one is it also has good structures for allowing us to design good algorithms which can match the, the lower bounds. Also, it generalizes the best k best one arm and the best k arm problems. I think it's just, just introduced before. And it, let's, let's go through this, this method which are interesting to us. The first one is just uniform method. It's just the best k arm and the best one arm problem. And that's, that comes partition method. There are m disjoint groups of arms. And you want the best ki arms in the ice group. It's studied by Gabelian et al. and Bubek et al. Also, we can have an additional constraint that you can choose at most n arms in total, besides the previous group constraints. Then it, it will become a special case of the lamina metroid. Also, there's an in interesting example which is called transversal metroid. There are n workers and n, n m tasks. Each task has a reward distribution, and each worker can do some, some kind of task, and each worker can do only one task. You want to find the optimal subset of tasks that can be finished. So S is all the subsets that, of tasks that uh, admits a uh, matching from the workers. For example, let's look at these two graphs. This, this shows two candidates of the family S. Now let's talk about our results. We show an optimal PAC algorithm for finding an uh, epsilon optimal solution. And we also obtain an exact algorithm. Our upper bound even improves the state of the art of the best K-arm algorithm. We need to introduce a new metric. We say, uh, we say solution I is epsilon optimal if it becomes the, optim the optimal one, if we add in epsilon to the means of every arm in I. It's stronger than all the previous metrics in the best K-arm in these three works. We develop an algorithm for finding an epsilon solution with probability at least one month delta using this amount of samples. It, it matches the lower bound given by Kalian Krenachnan's works. So our PAC algorithm is, is indeed optimal. And we, now we move to our exact algorithms. In this case, we want to output the optimal solution with probability at least one month delta. So we need to define are kind of gaps. The smaller the gaps are, the harder it, it, it is to ident identify the optimal solution. We assume that all arms have distinct means, so the optimal solution is unique, just for simplicity. The gap for arm i is defined as follows. If i belongs to the optimal solution, it's the loss of utility when you are forced not to select i. And if i is not in the optimal solution, it's the loss of the utility when you are forced to select i. That is switching the status of i and the loss you will pay for it. It's the same definition of gap in Chen et al.'s work, and generalize the previous definition for best k arms. 
We develop an algorithm for finding the optimal solution with probability at least one month delta using this amount of samples. We are case the rank of the metroids. For comparison, check out all work achieve this outbound for metroid. We can see that we improve the dependence from log n to log k, and this from one log to two log. And that's the lower bound here. Our results strictly improve the state of the bound for best k arms. When k is very small, our algorithm achieves a significant improvement. Now let's high level let's give a high level idea of our techniques. Use A B type algorithms usually need a log n factor for a union bound over all the other, other, other arms. But we use an elimination based approach to get a log k factor here. Elimination in best one arm or best k arm is very simple. In, it, it, it proceeds like, like this. You find a threshold, maybe a, maybe a percentile or a, an approximate optimal solution. And then you sample other arms and uh, delete those arms whose empirical means is worse than the threshold. But it's unclear how to eliminate some arms in Metroid because a nearly optimal solution may contain a lot of arms from the lower quarter. U using a threshold will not work here. We overcome this difficulty by using the novel sampling and pooling technique developed by Kagan, Klein, and Tajin. This is originally used for designing the efficient algorithm for MST. The key idea is to use a solution for a random sample subset to do the, to do the elimination. We adapt their approach to the bandit setting. Let's begin with a quick example. Maximum spending tree. We want to find an optimal, optimal solution. We first select a random subset F of arms by picking each arm with probability one half. Then we recursively find an epsilon over three optimal solution I in F. Then we estimate all the means for the arms. And then we delete those bad arms. For example, the arms with which seven is bad because it can never improve the, the optimal solution because the, there is this edge and this edge. Finally, we recurse on the remaining arms again. The key point is that after one elimination with high probability, we eliminate a constant fraction of arms and we do not hurt the optimal solution too much. So based on, on induction, we can show that our algorithm should out output an absolute optimal solution. Also, there are some interesting future directions we are interested in yet. The first ones, of course, can we apply the sampling and the pooling technique in other bandit problems. The second one is that can we find better algorithms for other combinatorial constraints besides Metroid, for example, by pattern matching. We think Chen et al.'s work is, is the optimal here. Finally, the, we, we want to consider the case where the utility of a set S is a nonlinear function of the means, or a general function depends on the distribution distribution, for example, just as in the last talk. Oh, okay. So, any, any questions? 